are now watching Ani Cooper. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Ani Cooper, and I'm back with another video. So as you guys can guess from the title of this video, it is why I am starting my lock journey. The things that you guys want to know, it's like, girl, you may have your afro, what's going on? This is new for us. So I'm gonna take y'all on this journey as best as I can. Y'all know me, I am not an avid uh, <laughs> blogger updater, but that is why you can follow me on Instagram at Cooper, and you can see the updates as I go. I'll probably start like a highlight or something for my locks. So yes, but for now, let's start from the beginning, right, the top. So those of you that's been watching me, you've seen my lock journey. You see, not my last journey. You see my natural hair journey. You see when I big chop my hair, and now I, well, I've been five years natural. I want to say, yeah, five years natural. I cut off all my hair, 2015, and it's now 2020, and that was something I did because I wanted to learn about myself, right? So when I cut my hair, my reasons for big chopping my hair was, who am I? What does my curl pattern look like? I've never seen my hair curly before. I would love to be able to wear curly buns. I would love to be able to go to the beach and I come out and my, I don't have to worry about my hair. That was one of, that was like the main reasons why I started that journey. Through that journey of being natural, I learned so much about myself. I learned about my hair, my skin, the things that I eat. Um, I became more in tune with my body, more spiritual. I literally grew out the antennas that I was gifted with. You know, our hair is antennas. This is how we uh, receive our information. It, it goes from, you know, our crown and to our body and then so on and so forth. So. That was a really big thing for me. I learned a lot about myself through my hair. Now, here we are where I'm starting my lock journey because I'm on that same path again, where who am I? Let's get to my roots, you know, let me figure some things out. And I feel like when we go through a spiritual transformation, the first thing we do is, yes, we're working on ourselves, but physically we start to change things about ourselves. So for me, I've always been a person, if I'm going through something, the first thing I do, I'm dyeing my hair, I'm cutting my hair, I'm braiding it, I'm full locking it, I'm doing something different to my hair because it makes me feel good. I get, you know, my tattoos, I get my piercings because it makes me express myself. But even, it doesn't have to be something bad or traumatic, it can very, you know, be very happy. So that is something that I do. But now I am focusing on grounding myself. I feel like every couple of months, every couple of years, you go through these different stages, right? So right now I'm in a stage of, I want to feel grounded. I want to feel one with myself. I feel like, you know, I have been shifting and changing and I've been worrying about so many things that I should not be worrying about, right? Whether it's my appearance of how I look like, Granted, I still love to feel beautiful, but that is not the basis of who I am, right? Or I'm worrying about in the morning, you know, doing my afro and it gotta be a certain way, shaped a certain way. And I don't wanna have to worry about those things, right? I also, you know, for many of you that don't know, I am Panamanian, I'm Jamaican, I'm black, Irish, Native American and so on and so forth. But those are like, you know, my main ethnicities that I know where they come from. And with that being said, like, I feel like locking my hair will also help me get closer to my roots, closer to my ancestry, because this is something that is a part of my lineage, you know? And it's really funny because not a lot of people in my family, honestly, thinking about it, I can't recall anybody in my family that has locks, maybe one person, but, you know, I feel like I want to break that cycle to really dig into my roots. Also, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like with locks, it just, I'm going to have to learn myself. Like, I'm going to have to learn my confidence, right? Because you're going through all these different phases, whether it's, you're, you know, I'm starting from two strand twists. Eventually, they're gonna, you know, shrink up even more. They're gonna bud. You know, they're gonna get longer. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna change textures. I'm gonna have to learn how to love myself in any skin that I'm in, right? 
And I do love myself. Don't get me wrong. I love myself. But I feel like it brings up a closer bond. You know, I see all these women and men on their lock journeys. And that's the one thing they say, like, I learned to be one with myself, to not care what other people think, to really deep down, really confirm me. And when you are able to confirm yourself, you're able to manifest things that are beyond, you know, your wildest dreams. You're, you're able to, you know, be the person that you really want to be and live your life in that. And I think, you know, in the past couple of months, I've been having, you know, trouble with affirming who I am. I'm still growing. We constantly grow and we change. But I had this idea that I was so sure of who I am and, you know, the things that I want. And now that's changing because I'm changing. So now I have to relearn myself, relearn that process. So that is the reason why I am locking my hair. Um, those are the main reasons I can think of. And also it's just, it's cute. A little lock don't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm really coming into my goddess vibe, my goddess energy. You know, they don't call me a holistic healer, a sage, a guru for nothing. We trying to embody that same vibe that our inner self puts out. So those are the reasons. So without further ado, I'm not gonna keep you waiting. I don't want this to be a very long video. I am going to dig deep into my twist, what I did, the pattern that I use, the lock count, all of that. So this is my twist. Um, I decided, matter of fact, let's really get deep in there, right? I'm gonna take these locks, these locks, well, they're not locked yet, but these twists down so you guys can see what I am working with. And it's so crazy because I love my hair already, but it's so crazy because I've never worn my hair with so much shrinkage. Everybody knows me to wear my hair with like all this volume and everything like that. So I'm definitely getting used to this shrinkage and it's only been a couple days, it's been week one. But even like before I locked my hair, I wore my hair in twists just so I could see how I feel. And I feel good. I definitely feel good. You know, I'm able to like style it and stuff. Luckily, you know, my hair was pretty long. Like if I stretch it, you can see um, how long it really is. So with that being said, it's not too bad. But so this is how my twists look. And I decided to dye my hair blonde from the pink because I didn't want my hair to be dark. Um, I really love having my blonde hair. So I was like, I'm gonna start off with blonde dreads. And I know people were like, oh, don't dye your hair, but my hair was already dyed. Regardless, it was gonna be dyed some color. Um, and then I decided to go with a box pattern, as you can see. So I went to a friend that usually braids my hair and she parted and twisted my hair for me because I trust her with making, you know, my parts look good. She always does my hair. So, and then I'll show you the back, if you guys can see. This is the back of my hair, the grid, how it looks, you know, and like I said, it's still the first week, so it's still early. I hope you guys can see that. And I decided to go with the two strand uh, twist method because I like um, I guess kind of like the semi free form look where you know it's looser and it just does something. Also, you're able to like go on the journey and like really see everything, it's not constantly unraveling and all that. So, that's why I decided to start with two shirt twists. Um, also, I'm not gonna count my locks on camera because I feel like that's redundant, but I have 52 locks, 52 locks. I did not plan this. Literally, all I did was I thought of people that I really loved how their locks looked. And I was like, I want to have that certain amount. Granted, my hair is not gonna look the same. My hair is gonna do whatever it wants and I'm okay with that. Um, but it was really inspiring to see their photos and how their, their journey was. They had similar hair textures to me. So I was like, okay, I don't wanna go in the hundreds because I know myself, I'm probably gonna 
do some of my retwisting. I'm not about to sit there for 100 locks, I'm sorry. I was like, okay, I don't want to do too little because I don't want my locks huge. So I was like, something medium. I didn't know it was going to be 52 locks. Like literally when I did it right after, I counted it and it came out to 52. So I was really happy about that. And you know, my hair will, my hair is already thick. <laughs> so my hair is going to thicken up before it thins out. That's just like the process of locks. But you can see how thick they are right now. So imagine they're gonna get a little bit thicker than this. And what I would love, but I'm not pressed about, is if my ends stayed kind of loose like this. Like, I really, I know my texture is not the same texture as her, but like Lisa Bonet's locks, the loose ends, really give me life. So if they lock like that, I would be very, very happy with that. Um, but yeah, 52 locks and it's even, you can see like we really focused on having a good like middle part. I'm also able, if I wanted to do a side part on each side, but I don't really wear side parts. I'm a middle part type of girl. Where's the other one? That's somewhere. Okay, there we go. <laughs> side part right there. So she parted it really well where I have you know, I'm able to like do different things. You know, I can wear my hair back if I want to like this. I can wear it where it's like, you know, half up, half down type of thing. So I have options. I definitely have options. I could do different things. So you guys are just gonna see the journey. Like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can really get the updates because I'm gonna post on there. I'm constantly gonna be showing you guys. So this is, I started my log journey October 16th, 2020, which was the birthday of Sage Me Down, my company. And I'm just gonna grow. Just as I'm growing in my business, I'm about to grow it with myself, grow with my locks. So it'll be easy to keep track. It's still the beginning. So I hope you guys just embark on this journey with me. Stay updated. Make sure you follow at Ani Cooper to get the updates of my locks. Um, and if you want to see my business's birthday party, the commercial that I did, uh, check out at Save Me Down. So that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, any videos you want me to do, post it in the comments below. And I'm more than happy to try to keep an update with that. So I love you guys. Have a good, good rest of your day and much love, much light, much peace to you. Bye.